Margaret of Mesrich was a gaon in his time, a giant, well-known Torah scholar. And he had been hearing a lot about this Baal Shem Tov man. And so he had a pull in his heart to go figure out what he was all about. It wasn't his way at the time, it wasn't his derech, but he wanted to go see what it was about. So the Magad of Mezrich went to spend a Shabbos with the Baal Shem Tov. He shows up Friday night after davening, the Baal Shem Tov sitting at his meal with all the people there. And so the Magad goes and he gets there just in time to hear his drasha, to hear his lesson. So here's the Baal Shem Tov starts speaking. You know, the other day I went on a carriage with my wagon driver and our wagon broke down. We didn't have any food, we didn't have any water. So we managed, we didn't know what we were going to do. But then came this farmer, and he gave us food, and he gave us water. And that was it. And the Baal Shem Tov said, L'chaim, and that was it. So Magi of Medrash left, and he said, you know, okay, maybe this man isn't for me. Maybe it's not true what they say about him. But I'll give him one more shot. Tomorrow I'll come again. So now it's Shabbos Day, it's Saturday. And the Magi of Medrash comes, he daven shachers, the morning prayers. And after davening, they have the meal again. So Magid sits down and Baal Shem Tov starts speaking. And he relates the same story, slight variations. Basically, there's a wagon, the wagon breaks down, no food, no water. Here comes a farmer, food and water. And Bruch Hashem says L'chaim, and they continue. So the Magid Mezrich leaves, thinks, okay, it's pretty settled. Now I know he's not for me. Maybe this man's better suited for farmers, you know, those kinds of people, not me. Now it's Moti Shabbos. It's after Shabbos. The Magid of Mezrich is packing up his bags, getting ready to leave the next day. And he hears a knock at the door. And so a man is there, a messenger from the Baal Shem Tov. The messenger says, the Baal Shem Tov requests to see you. So okay, Magid goes with him. He walks into the office of the Baal Shem Tov and sits down. The Baal Shem Tov says, so I hear you know how to learn. He says, yeah, it's true. He says, I also hear that you learn Kabbalah. Again, it's true, yeah. So Baal Shem Tov takes out an Chaim from the Kitve Ari, Ari HaKodesh, and he points out a passage, and he says, here, please tell me, explain this passage. And so the Magad Mezer starts explaining the simple pshat, the simple meaning of the verses in the Etz Chaim. And after he's reading a little bit, the Baal Shem Tov starts yelling at him, screaming at him, telling him to stand up. And so he does. The Magad Mezer stands up, and this is from his account, what he related from this event. He says the whole room became filled with fire. All surrounding him was fire. And there was such a, a terrible, like a very intense light that was blinding. And all of a sudden he passed out, he fainted. And the Magid woke up to see the Baal Shem Tov standing over him. The Baal Shem Tov helped him up. And he said, you know, your, your explanation, your pshat was very good. It was accurate. But you have no das. You don't have any knowledge, any feeling in it. Your learning lacks your neshama. Your learning is lacking a soul. And since that account from the Magna Mezrich, he became a follower, a disciple of the Baal Shem Tov.